Hello, fellas. Addie Pie says, uh, hang on. Um, there you go. Can you guys hear me? Addie Pie says, good to have you back, although I heavily disagree about one of the games you spoke on. I assume you mean in the state of play. Well, here's the deal. We're about to play the Silent Hill game, but until I finish this fruit by the foot, we can chat, state of play, or whatever you want. Which game do you disagree with? What uh, what was I right and you were wrong on that you have yet to see the light about? That would make me curious. I'd like to know that. Look what I got, a fruit by the foot. a headband. You know what, man? I'm reading this book right now called uh, Last Action Heroes about all the 80s, 70s, and 80s, like, you know, Schwarzenegger, Stallone, uh, Jackie Chan, all that. And there's a chapter I'm reading right now on Chuck Norris. And I've never really been much of a Chuck Norris fan. I don't know the guy that much. I don't know his work. Although I was an extra in one of his movies, Invasion USA. That's true. Um, but... They were talking about, I guess he fought Bruce Lee in Enter, was it Enter the Dragon? Which I've never seen Enter the Dragon. And when I read it, I was like, that sounds awesome. So I need to fucking, uh, I need to watch that fucking thing soon. Uh, Steven Seagal is mentioned in there. Yeah, it covers like Bruce Willis, Stallone, Schwarzenegger, Jackie Chan, Chuck Norris, Steven Seagal, um... A uh, couple of the other bigger names. Um, so, all right, Dash Stranding 2 looks incredible, Jaffe. I think if you played through the first game, you would understand why the gameplay is blowing away. I didn't see any gameplay. Uh, Van Damme's in there, yeah. I didn't see any gameplay uh, in the new uh, trailer, but like I said, I'm not gonna eat on the whole stream. I just gotta finish this fruit by the foot. Uh, like I said. I like Death Stranding. Um, it's a little slow for me, but I really am fascinated by it, and I probably will go back and spend a little bit more time on it because the sequel, or the trailer for the sequel, did look great. I mean, as, as a movie goes, but I wasn't able to really suss out any gameplay, but... Yeah, baby. Um, what's up? The cutscenes and alternate camera when he rode a bike. Cutscenes were great. Um, anyway, whatever. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna um, not play it. I mean, I, I I thought the first one, even though I thought it was slow, was great. So I'm certainly gonna look at the second one. And it was a great cinematic trailer. I mean, I'm not knocking the thing. Uh, just wasn't really my cup of tea. But I will give it a shot. Because I could be, you know, it's like Blade Runner 2048, right? I loved it, but I was still bored by it. But I still appreciated it for what it was. So it, it, sometimes things are just like that with me. Hello, Jerry A. Um, okay. It's almost literally a walking sim in the first game until you... Yeah, I got vehicles in the second sim. I got... Uh, although when people say walking sim, they're being clever. And unfortunately, people think that means it's like gone home or something and it's it's actually not um it it literally is a walking sim but it's quite engaging and challenging uh it's kind of like a human version of a mud runner game or something okay so this is um uh the uh the goddamn what's it called the goddamn what's it called uh uh come on now jaffy be couth um Man, I've been meaning to buy real comics for a long time. It's just I got to drive 20 minutes out of my way to go get them. But I, you know what I want to start reading? I want to try to read the... Uh, th there's a comic company called Alterna Comics, I think is what they're called. And they do comics on newsprint. And so the costs are cheaper and they take more chances. Um, and you can get like a comic for $1.99. Uh, but I've never... I've never actually seen them. I've just seen them on the internet. I can get them in the mail, but I'd rather, I like going to comic stores or just, you know, kind of out of the way at this point. Uh, no, I should go soon. I should go soon. Okay. Um, 
I no, I can get comics delivered. I used to have a shit ton of Marvel comics delivered, but it just isn't the same. I, I don't enjoy it as much um, as getting them. You know. All right, here we go. Here we go, fellas and fillettes. Whoops, wrong wrong thing. Hang on. I have seen people complaining about um, uh, Silent Hill 2 Remake. Uh, I thought what they showed looked good for what it was. I mean, again, Team Bloober is the turnoff for me, but what they showed I thought was good. Um, okay. I'm assuming this is a short game. This is like a, a their version of PT or something. Um, okay, let's focus. Just the brightness of the left and right images are visible. Fuck you. Yeah, I told him. Here we go, boys. Look at this lady. I'm gonna look at this phone. Good job. That's great commentary, you idiot. If you feel you are at a risk of suicide or self-harm, please seek medical and professional advice, treatment, etc. True. Very, very true. Thank you, Jerry. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone. And need only themselves to survive. Can you guys hear it okay? Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own. Without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. What? It was a letter she wrote to the adult her? Or is that literally the last part of the message? I don't know. Man, we've come a long way with graphics, assuming this is real time. This is not real time. Yeah, it might be, but I doubt it. Yeah, maybe. focus where the camera was. Oh, hey, Morgan. Cool. Good to know. Yeah, I got to get my I, phone redone. I'm going to get a new one. All right, now this is real time. I want to show you something, says Maya. Can you come to the villa? Oh, yeah. Maya told me to come here. It is amazing, though, how far visuals have come. It's, it's like that body cam footage, man. Whew, I'll tell you what. They released some new footage of that game. Incredible. Come on now. Hey, what these? This model. Is it this building? This is a villa? This looks like a Caprini Green in Chicago from Candyman. Or one of the buildings. The plan to rebuild Kittenstad, an overview. Kittenstad, a town with a long history as a thriving border stronghold. In recent years, those in their 20s have begun leaving en masse, causing concern. The aim of this wide-scale project is to rebuild Kittenstad and restore it to its former glory with the help of Chinese investment, of course. The theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long been a problem but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new kitten start. Oh. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, Ravnos, I don't know why wow. you had such a hard time with that so stream. I gotta figure out what's going suck. on. Our parents dreamed of this? Freedom. Hello, little thing.
Plans to rebuild Kittenstad have suffered yet another major setback as the instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Now, two attempts to rebuild, two failures due to unfortunate external circumstances. Kuttenstad has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy uh, by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures, and yeah. so all adults are a slave to the system. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Can't tell me what to do. Where are you, Maya? Why did you come to this place? Hello, baby. What did baby know? Oh, can I have some of that? I'm trapped. I've always been trapped. Oh my god. She's so angsty. I want to let her get caught by a ghost. <coughs> to all Villa residents, we have received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. Uh, we hope you can find the time to admit, attend, admit, attend, whatever, fuck you. This place is not nice, Bert. You said you were taking me to a nice place. Oh, it's just down the hall, Sheila. Just keep going. See that door? Yes, that's where the fancy restaurant is. Yes, of course. You know how these places are. They're trying to make it uh, exclusive and weird. But once you get inside, I promise you, you go ahead ahead of me. Go ahead. Go ahead and shut the door. I'll be there. Why do so many devs put these dumbass readable collectibles? I almost never bother reading them. I know it's annoying. That's how they tell their story. And they think it's important, but they don't actually understand that gameplay of reading, like the pure mechanics, abstraction of reading, when you want to control something, is really counterintuitive and bad. Uh, it won't open. It won't open. 205. All right. This one will. It's so funny how we get so used to visuals. Like this, this handful of years back would have blown people's minds. Is that a cat box, glitter box? Uh, maybe the baby doll has a key. Maybe, but I couldn't interact with it. I couldn't do anything with it. Maybe I need to go look for a different hotspot. Did Maya do this? Oh my god. CB. Cherry Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's amazing. Woke. This city is a bright canvas. Begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. I want to show the hidden side of girls. They're impulses, their urges. What are you hiding inside? Are you a psychomantis? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. I do. Hang on, I was actually char- How could I ever be proud of myself? I don't know about that. Pretty good graphics. I mean, that was a cutscene, so, you know. Uh, but this, these graphics are pretty fucking good. I mean, it, it is kind of incredible. Coming from where we were. For graffiti art, a spray paint and a blank wall are all you really need. And Kittenstad, the walls of a particular apartment building are the canvas for several artists, with a new piece showing up every day. Uh, social media star CB features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting her name is CB, uh, which is short for Cherry Blossom. 
Mm. CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reached out to her for comment, keeping her eyes fixed on the new piece. This is what she had to say. All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside, but I can't show on the outside. Now, if any of them connect with the girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. CB added that the flowers she depicts on the young girls she paints bloom out the scars they bear. Huh. The flowers represent the girls overcoming past traumas, or at least their desire to do so. Hello. Hello, Jojo D. Everyone um, can see how talented she is. Oh, I God. couldn't be more different. Oh, you're a loser. Oh, my God. I want to bully this kid. I don't really. But it's just like lady. Uh, I've not considered doing voiceover work because I'd have to actually do the work to go get the work. If somebody wants to call me and say, hey, Jaffe, come do this, I'll do it. Because I think it would be fun. I don't know if I'd be good at it, but I think it would be fun to try. But I don't want to put the effort in. Uh, uh. Who's there? Is it Maya? Maya, is that you? Emily, are you all right? A slip? I used to sleep, sorry if I woke you. Didn't see your job yesterday. Still not feeling good? You taking your meds? Uh, sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I can actually get some rest now. I didn't mean to scare you or anything. Oh, uh, there's the DW about it. All's good now? I'm still a little tired, but I'm going to get up soon. <sighs> That's a relief. That's a relief. The, the, the door opened down there. Hey, that looks like Silent Hill 4 with the chains on the door. Oh, that's not what I'm looking at. I know I should go down the other way. I'm curious, though. All right, let's see what's down here, fellas. Uh, down here. Ooh, I can ride these nuts. Oh. I mean, look at that. You can What's even read them. This place. Why all the sticky notes? Loser! Stupid! Liar! Crazy! Cry, baby! Ugly! I hate you, dumb! Go away! She never said anything nice. This is not well written. This is too on the nose, my friends. Child abuse, abuse. I'm the, I'm the little chef. Abuse. Child abuse and neglect in Kittenstad. A recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in Kittenstad last year was nearly double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe. <laughs> the recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. <sighs> my mom loved me. Oh my God, lady, shut up. Look, I'm sympathetic to the, to the people who are struggling. And I'm certainly sympathetic to the mentally ill, but you need to shut the fuck up. I thought the Suicide, suicide Squad game talked too much. Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. What if the game is recording what I'm saying and then at the end, all of my things I'm saying end up on the notes? Now that would be cool. Look at the pills. I'm a take these. Antidepressants. Uh, taking enough medication. Wow, that's a good message. Taking enough medication. Maybe you need it. Just a thought. Uh. That would be meta as fuck. That'd be awesome. AI could do it for me. Nay, AI can't fulfill the game away. Not quite.
There was a trigger warning, but it can't be on the screen forever. Oh, who's these? Uh, what about you, Nick? What? Well, you didn't look so hot the other day. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. I'm going. I don't know who's who. I think Amelie's the main character, but wouldn't she be on the right of the screen? Um, I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? It doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I know. I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. They feel bad, you know. All of them. You'll make them pay, Anita. Damn 20. They will all pay for what they did. This is the Netflix version of 13 Reasons Why. Which is a very depressing but wonderful show. Fuck you, Stoner Joe. Look at all the messages, Stoner Joe. Look at them all. What do they mean? Maya? No, not Maya, my dear. Silent here. No. Yawn. This is so cliche. It's so not great. I love you! This is so bad. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Huh? What the hell just happened? Hello? Okay. Oh, I guess the door was locked behind me. Can't say what the hell just happened again. What's going on? supposed to be scared as a player. I really hate these chase scenes. Because I have nothing to lose except the fiction of the character. It's not like Elden Ring where I've stored a bunch of shit up. So if I die, I just reset and learn the maze again. Am I safe? Where did it even go? What the fuck was that thing? Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. I do not have good, uh... I want to show you something. Come to the bell. Are you here? I'm in the studio. Maya? There's a monster here. Are you okay? You're the monster girl. <laughs> Teenage suicides continue at an infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Kazakhstan has become known for its suicides, with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. Now, despite recent repeat events, the building, abandoned ever since the development management company declared bankruptcy, remains easily accessible. Young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though with many continuing to enter it and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Now, meanwhile, local residents' security concerns continue to grow. Okay. Please. Not Maya, too. Not she Maya. has been acting weird lately. There's more work by CB, Cherry Blossom. Look at this girl. Cherry Blossom's bloom within the grasp of death. Uh, With most flowers, the rot sets in. 
<laughs> I think you know. That's the price of new life. <laughs> Not cherry blossoms, though. Mm -mm, not them. They bloom beautiful. They fall beautiful. Yeah. That tree's coming out of her vagina. That's how I want my life to be. Okay, CB. Why is she not replying? Come on. I have to find her. Wacky teens, man. Uh, hey, Vincent. So far, thoughts are eh. I mean, the graphics are nice. Um, terribly written, and gameplay-wise, it's exceptionally tropey. It's one of those... They don't really seem to care or understand horror, and so they just kind of do these tropey things you see in movies and other games. Um, but it's not very interesting. I mean, I'm curious. It's short, so fuck it, but... Scale of one to ten so far, I'd give this like a four and a half. Um, to an extent, Addy Pie, but not massively. Well, what do we have here? That monster. It's gone, right? Who are you talking to, Maya? Where is the studio? Maya, who are you talking to, honey? There's no one there. There's no one there. Oh, I think you'll find this battle station will be quite operational when your friends arrive, Maya. <laughs> oh, let's go out into the eve. The summer's eve. Uh, okay, what was that? What was this inspector? The famous suicide spot. <laughs> the famous suicide spot. Guys, do you want to go to that suicide spot? Yeah, I want to go to the famous one, though. That one's not well known that you want to go to. All right, it's just farther away and there's traffic. I know. You're an idiot, Maya. But I just want to go to that one to say I've seen it. Fine. It's always going to be your way. Well, you know, it's my birthday. I know. Uh, uh, Liza P. I did. I liked it a lot. Um, I never finished it, though. But I enjoyed what I played quite a bit. Hey, what's this? This is like the, 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 the trash room. That's where you belong, because you're trash. Um, really pretty, though, in its dilapidation. Oh, creepy. Yeah, it's creepy. Maya. I hope you're all right. Yeah, okay, we get it. There's no need to actually say that line. We get she does. Okay. By the way, you thought in the mirror about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So, once you're at college, are you not coming back here? Anyway, I come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come home for break. But yeah. Just give college more thought, okay? I told you I can't go. It's not... It's, it's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. Nah, tell me help it, huh? No, it's fine. I, I can't do anything. Don't know what I'd do if I got in. <laughs> Right high on you, yeah. Proud, yeah. Wait, what about your drawing? You show me. You get that art, I can lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Emily doesn't get it, bitch. Gotcha. So he don't really like this place. I get it. Uh. People in this town see graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. You're a trashy And my classmates doodle. talk about me. What? Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. What do they the say to you? The great thing about graffiti is world's your canvas. What do they say to you, Maya? Hmm? And as long as I'm with you, 
I can have fun anywhere. The FMV no is an automatic out. failing nest again. That's not FMV though, is it? That's not a real actress. I think that's CG, man. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. It looks CG to me. Well, what's this here? Eddie Torres, you got bored? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't. You know me. If you got bored, I will. Do not enter graffiti, unlawful occupation, and other acts will be reported to local authorities. Like they'll come to this place, you fuck. This is Cabrini Green of Japan, or wherever they are. Um, Morgan, you really liked it. Nine out of ten. Wow. Um, keep out. Oh my is god. Is this your studio? Yeah, it's my sister's studio. Oh, are, are these, these my sketches? sketches? These aren't even finished. They're the good. They They're not this done. Turn the page. Hey, they this them happy. A new life. A new life. So full of life. What happened? Are you Maya? here? Maya? Where are you? This place is dangerous. We need to go. Maya, please respond. Uh, Why won't she reply? Because she hates you. Or maybe she's Where are dead. You? Maybe she's been dead for a long time. Maybe she's never been real. Maybe you are Maya, and this is like Fight Club. Triple Z. I'm crazy. No, you're just using Spielberg shot he ripped off from Hitchcock and made famous. Okay. Technique, not shot, but you know what I mean. Okay. I don't mean to be so cynical. If you're watching this like, Jesus, Jeff, you aren't even playing it. Well, I, look, I'm a disappointed cynic because, look, I love horror. I love being scared, but I also, you know, I weep internally at the wasted potential. Um... This is, you know, it's, you know, it's well made, I guess, but it's not very really scary. Uh, okay. Konami said this game is ushering in the new era of Silent Hill, focusing on the issue today's kids can deal with. Oh, God. I think most kids I know, including mine, even though... Certainly, I think this game's heart is very much in the right place. There's nothing about really what they're talking about that's a problem. And I think it's quite accurate in a lot of ways. I just think that it feels, you know, my kids would laugh at this and say it's very try hard, is what they'd say, or cringe. It's beautiful. Who did my home mind? Did Maya have in mind? Did you post this too? <laughs> Whoa, Gil. Oh, this is on her Insta. Even more followers. Bitch. Read an article I about suicides. Again. You lost followers again. Oh my god. Some new followers here. But your OnlyFans? I need to upload stuff like this to get as many likes as Maya. I'm reaching your follower goal. Is this my, uh, this is my oh, comments and, and YouTube. Stop already! Just stop! Please! Hey, living legend, thank you for the super chat, buddy. He says, is that who I think it is, Mia Khalifa? Is that the porn actress that uh, a lot of people got mad at her recently? Is that what happened? Um... I saw Stellar Blade, it looked cool. I mean, I don't know if it'll be fun or not, because I don't know if the open world's gonna serve anymore. I'm sorry. You have your own situation to deal with. I was out of line. I was thinking selfishly. 
I'm so sorry. Oh, I see what they wanted to do, and I think it's great what they wanted to do, but you can't write on the nose like this for anyone, especially for teenagers. They see it coming a million miles away. They should have made this more metaphorical. This is too literal. Huh? Why did she jump from the villa? Why did she have to die? Because she jumped Maya's from the villa. Dead. Both questions are good, but one Maya. after the other. Maya's doesn't really, really work. Dead? Unless you're a mo rune. Uh, how? How could I forget? Yeah, like that? a dead wife or somebody going crazy. Are you Uh, not yet, Jerry, no. Then... Who's this? Find it. Find it. Who... I don't know where this is set. Is this in Japan? It does remind me of Life is Strange, absolutely. Which my kids love those games, but even then, they thought the dialogue was goofy and cringy. Um, Jaffa, did you like the first sound? I didn't watch it, Bill Bones. I want to, though. Ghost cam text, but only on the new iPhone. That's like their big innovation this time. Because English is the best, more. I like how before, th this is a, a girl who literally just saw a woman made of toilet paper coming to kill her, and it's like she's forgotten that. Can I not get in there? Uh, well, M.T., it may not be for you, It's but I'm I'm just saying. He says, I'm a grown man. Why did Konami think I would relate to teenage girls being bullied? They may not have thought that, but they probably did think there was a big enough audience that would. Um, teenage girls make up a large percentage of the horror audience when it comes to film and stuff. Um, but that said, though, um, I think teenage girls would find this goofy. Uh, I can't tell I'm going. I got killed by Flower Man. Okay, let's bring it down. Bring down the cage. Where are we going? I don't I would like to find a show. She should use her phone as a real view. What the fuck? Also make it relatable like being bullied crazy. by not making it literal. I think it's slightly metaphorical. Oh, you're goddamn right. And I am a my Cooper fan. I love my Cooper. Am I supposed to know how to survive? Because she's just randomly showing up. Okay, let's assume she's always there now. If you're like a bunch of 11 year old girls sitting around playing this, which they shouldn't be, but like I could see like a, my kids when they were that age, like a slumber party and shit, playing this and being totally into it. But I'm pretty sure 11 year olds are not the audience for this. Um, I'll get that super chat one sec. I'm sorry, I can't get it right now. I'm running for my goddamn life. Isn't there like a little eye over there? Like an item? Or Yeah, I'm totally getting Dragon's Dogma, but I might wait for it to come out on uh, 
G-Force. Jaffe, thank you, Living Legend, for the super chat. I appreciate it. What are your thoughts on Tales of Kinzera? It looks very promising. Two solid Metroidvanias to start 2024. What do you think Metroid Dread? I did not like Metroid Dread that much. Um, I thought the control was amazing in that game, but not for me. Uh, I don't know what Tales of Kinzera is. Hey, is that a... Okay, that's a rear view camera. Okay. Not a camera, but you know what I mean. Okay, that's that's nice. That, that's helpful. That's a nice little bit of a horror game innovation. I've never seen that before. Oh, okay, she's over there. Oh. Yeah, obviously, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Wait, is that not a door? What is that? Where am I? Is it a bug or an intentional? Okay, well this that was better. That was better. Because I died enough that I didn't want to die again, and it gave me a tool that I could use. So that was pretty good. Um That is not true CR. Followers. No one is ever going to notice me. Well, not if you mope around, do some shit. I won't notice you that way either. This is that'd be cool, Morgan. I'd be down for a game like that. Bad things happen because of you. But yeah, Living Legend, I don't know, I don't know Tales of Kinzura. Maybe I can be like her. Here goes. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now, there is no And with that, Kratos flung himself off the highest peak. Or whatever, I forgot the line. Amelie? Maya? <laughs> Sorry, can't help us. That's the game? Eddie Torres, that's the game that was too long? <laughs> Maya text back. Just kidding. I'm alive. Huh? Okay, so the game continues. Okay, I was gonna say. Back at the villa. The villa people. But why didn't I die? Because you're already dead, darling. You've been dead a long time. Hello, Maya. You find it? Find what, Maya? I can't leave till you find it. Is this really you, Maya? I can't leave till you find it. Maya's dead, you're not her. I can't leave till you find it. Who the fuck is this? Can't leave till you find it. Now she says you can't leave. Tell me. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Stoner Joe. Not to creep you out or anything, but this looks a lot like the art on your Facebook page. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, don't get any ideas. I'm not sending you a message. No one's sending you a message. I'm just saying. All right, let's reuse the other things. Oh, my battery. Oh, there we go. Okay, what has changed now? Here's the pitch, I can see it now. And you see, as you go back through, see, at first you notice these subtle changes. These subtle changes, even like some of the words in the, uh, in the newspaper articles you pick up. But then, 
suddenly things start to take a really weird uh, turn because those changes are a metaphor. Oh my god, shit up. Shit up. I want the Scooby Doo game. No exit. Bad girl gets an empty plate. <laughs> of course she does. Why would she deserve anything else but an empty plate? Plate, 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 plate. And then she says, wait a minute. Wait a minute. She reaches in the under the bed. She pulls out a five gallon can of gasoline. She sprays it all over the room. Takes a match, lights it, and then it says, do me, baby, do me now, for the love of God. Now, that is a paraphrase of an uh, opening monologue by the great uh, Jim Belushi. From the motion picture about last night, based on... Broadway play, Sexual Virgin in Chicago. Uh, slit. You're a slit. Uh, what? What? Who would do this? Who would do this? Marcia? Uh, Oh, K Nubs, you on the dope right now? I was gonna do some dope and play this game, um, but then I I decided I didn't want to. People can't tell me what to do. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that little monkey with the bananas, and there's another monkey fighting over the bananas, and he wants it. And then there's the eye of Sauron, and there's another monkey. Oh, the cocaine ice or something on the bloody floor. This is a nightmare where I cannot awaken from. What is this world? Is this the world Shuhei Yoshida invent? What? <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello. Uh, yes. Hello. Uh, are you the bag boy? Will you help me to my car? You, know, you see? You get it? The bag boy? Listen, you just stay there. I'll go over here. Uh, Wait, it's back on? It's back on. Ugly. <laughs> Stupid. How could somebody do this? Because people are evil. This is great. Your work speaks to me. The kindness. You're so full of yourself. What is this shit here? We come up, people, but back to booze. Back in that thought, bitch. The art sucks. Wish it fucked you. people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. What guys? Ah, bag boys! I bet it was these guys, the bag boys? Uh, I think they're the new, they're the new pop band sensation. All the girls love the bag boys. Um, especially this one right here. He's the, he's the breakout star, you can tell. He's gonna be like Justin Timberlake. Okay, um... Children who turn trauma into tales, solitude and anxiety in teenagers part two. All the teenagers surveyed su suffered from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences and interesting. all of them conceptualize those issues as grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her loving real mother existed elsewhere. Her name, as I'm sure you've guessed by now, was Cinderella. Another girl viewed her childhood scars as a stigmata, believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. Now, these convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the story surrounding it. Now, this is where our tale begins. I do not know if we will survive the night, but... This is a collection of dots, and that's not nothing. Hmm? 
It's not nothing. It's locked. It is locked, just like your subconscious. Perhaps this door with light coming forward is not only a metaphor, but an opening. Oh. Ooh, and that's the suicide spot. What's this? What's this? The famous suicide spot. Uh, no, Darth not gonna have not beat the campaign yet. But I like it. It's fun. It is a fun video game. Hey, who's calling me her home? Uh, this sorry for the like reply. I fell asleep. Are you feeling okay? I'm getting up, get out of bed, bitch. Sorry for being a bad friend. So, uh, my she was a dad. Sure, why are you out? Please tell me. Well, if you must know, I still can't believe she's gone either. I wish it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. So, Maya, then, she's really dead then. Anita, are you okay? Are you getting enough sleep? Kind of. I, I'm taking some really good meds. Meds are good. But what about therapy? Well, that doesn't really do much for me, honestly. You're still good to me, but you're leaving me behind. Maya didn't tell you anything, did she? No. All she talked about was a book she read recently. I still feel guilty for what happened. I taught her the read. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I should have known something was up. But, little sneaky bitch. Did Maya really not say anything? Uh, like, at all? <laughs> so what'd you think of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Uh, something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? Uh-huh. I wonder what they were thinking uh -huh. right before they died. Me too. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. What? You really are shy, aren't you? A little bit. A little bit shy. Actually, around a like pretty, that, around a pretty girl, it's a little bit shy. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. That's because I know how to write well. Look at the, oh, don't look at me. I can't wait to read more. Oh, yeah, you read more betwixt your nether region. Mother? What is this game? Oh, okay. Letters. Well, what's this on the floor? See, more things to read. This is all your fault, everything. You're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend, my place in this world, all of it. And you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not talented, is that what you think? You're not special. You call those shit stains art? Why, you came out of nowhere and ruined everything, everything. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit. Freak. It's how I talk to Rob the mod. You know, he likes it. What I like is that note was left in the trash room. Because that's where you are. You're filthy, you're trash. You have nothing to offer anyone, you fool. What do you mean? Why are you saying such mean things to me? Because you know it's true. And if you can break from the mental chains, you may truly see the truth. And what is the truth, Philip? The truth, Maria is you're dead, and I don't mean inside. I don't mean as a metaphor. I mean you're dead. You've been dead since 1894. No, I don't believe you. I won't. It's impossible. It's Search your feelings, Maya. You're a corpse. You've rotted. You've decayed. You're in the ground. Your great-grandchildren still visit once every year on Great Mother's Day. You are no longer of the living. When will you accept it? I only know when I see the teddy bears when I'm dead. That's when I know I'm... Oh, my God! I must have been dead! 
love this game so much. Hey, it's Starfield. Check it out. All right. Uh, why do we die? Why do we die in this game? Spazbo's like, oh, I already fucking finished this fucking thing. Yeah, I platinumed it. Yeah, with my dick. Played it with my dick. It was. Only way it was challenging. Oh, I thought it was the game talking to me saying mayonnaise. I'm playing a horror game. Hang on. What's up, baby? That was my kid saying, I'm feeding Ace. And I'm like, what? Where am I going? I've already come this way. You can 100% ignore it if it feels like you cannot. I can't stand the constant panting. What? Oh, a new level. Look at this bathroom. Deutschland Medical University School of Medicine Orientation. Dear incoming freshmen, welcome to Deutschland Medical University. Founded in 1709, DMU, as we like to call it, is one of Europe's oldest and most revered institutions. It's actually a state-of-the-art research facility is eagerly await your arrival. Now, here's when you should arrive. September 24, 2021, around 11.30. Where? Good question. School of Medicine Center Lecture Hall. Please wear a mask when attending. You know, COVID and all. A cab, this welcome back, good sir. To the, uh, wants to go to. The, uh, the Diet Soda Soldiers. I appreciate your support, and I appreciate you being part of our community, sir. Would you like to talk to my friend Amelie, a cab? Oh, you would. Wonderful. He says, she says, hey, Anita, you've got a minute? She calls you Anita. I don't know why. Um, sure. What's up? Well, you seem kind of out of it before. Is something bothering you? You can let me know. I'm sorry to bring it up. I don't want to pry. Nah. It's all right. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping. I haven't left my house. My brother's coming here and I hate him. All right. Are you okay? Hey, as much as possible, I'm going to avoid him as much as possible. So shopping, we can find you something cute. No, I'm good. I'm not a good big fan of crowds. And nothing looks cute on me anyway, except your vagina. Wait, did I say that out loud, Amelie? Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks. You just need to find the right outfit. Capitalism, baby. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. <sighs> Oh, North River, the new film from George Lucas, the new George Lucas joint, <laughs> if you will. And what's this? Well, you know, December 23rd, 2020, I haven't been able to study since my brother came back from Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. It's creepy. I know he was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It made me hate any guy at school looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school in town selling all this skin. And now we go to her entry on the 21st of 2021. You'll probably notice a shift in her decorum and her point of view. Here's what she wrote. I think I'm finally finding my study group. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting. They were yelling at each other. I asked Mama, she said, why? And you, she wouldn't say why. And then, of course, the entry that most people know. This entry was taken by the FBI as a photograph. It went viral on the internet. You know it by heart. It's on t-shirts, bumper stickers. And it still breaks the heart after thousands of times reading it, but I must as my job. This is what she wrote on May 11th. This is it, the test is tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself. I worked so hard, so I'm feeling great. 
She's not my real mom, but I know she love me. Mama? I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for both you and dad. I wonder, like, is the person who wrote this, if he were to watch or she were to watch this stream and just be like, Jaffe, I'm going to fucking kill you. This is my... I poured my heart out. I poured my heart out for this story. It's locked. And you're just butchering it. You're doing the voices wrong. There's a woodsy the owl. I want to go play Power World now. I'm just leveling up my owls. Um. I finally focused on my studies, so I think I might pull off an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I don't care. Fuck the people. I have to make it to college in the city. My mom and dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. All right, time to hit the books till morning. You know, it was funny. Dad was talking about uh, there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better, but everything got canceled due to COVID. Sure, it would have been money from China, who basically torture and reprogram the Uyghurs for horrible human civil rights violations, and Amnesty International has pretty much confirmed it, even though lots of people deny it. But it would have been nice if it had gone through, even if the money was from China, but I just couldn't see it happen, even if things had worked out, not in this place. No. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient, and it's a dump. Now, my future, mm, it's not here. It's in the city. But college life is waiting for me. Everything's riding on my entrance exam next year. I have to get out before my brother comes back. Oh my god, this is so boring. This is so fucking boring. Okay, strike two, Konami. You did Silent Hill Ascension, and now you did this. Both of them show an absolute lack of anything interesting. Oh, look, it's a refrigerator. Stay home alone! Stay home alone! to read. Look at all these girls and boys in the classroom studying things. I got some materials from my first choice in the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I am so, so happy. I still can't believe it. <laughs> now, Mom, Dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. Mom and Dad, God damn it, they're yelling at each other again. They're talking about bankruptcy. It's always money. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without the real building plan, Dad? So this means they're out of money. Does this mean I ain't going to college, all that hard work for nothing? No way, motherfucker. Don't leave me here, Mom. I can't stay here. Can't be stuck here with my brother. See, I understand. Hello. Do you have another... I'm playing a horror game. Uh, What's up? Do you have another battery? Um, the, here's another one, and then the charger for the batteries is on my sink. Okay. Uh, Mom just left. She told me to get out the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear. But where would I go? This is all a bad dream. It's all a bad dream. It's all a bad dream. Only oh hated the way her brother looked at her. God, this is that bad. she wants to leave to get away from all that. What is this? Why did they? <laughs> my kid's the jump scare. Yeah, I didn't see him standing there. He's like, my dad done gone crazy. Young student found dead, possible suicide. At around 1.10 a.m. on the 24th, local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student named Lollipop Chainsaw fall from the roof of Kitten Stat apartment building. Now, that girl was rushed to the hospital, but it was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to her troubles at home. No note or diary was found, though. But, uh, huh. And police still believe her death may be suicide. Homily's not like this, though. Right? Right? Oh, my God. It, it's so dumb. You're so dumb. 
Maybe that game, this game is like a metaphor. It's like they know it's dumb and they mean you to bully them because it's dumb. And then they're like, see, you're the bully. You played our game and it worked. We got you. We made you the bully. See how easy it is? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Um, you know, I guess that could do Look at that one. I met the sticky note man. Is that the girl who kills you? Was that a, is that a man? It looks like he's covered with toilet paper tubes. Oh my. A cab, did you finish this fucking thing? And if you did, how close am I to finishing this fucking thing? Because this is boring. Uh, it's boring. And I like walking sims. And I like horror games that are slow and monotonous if it's scary. But this is just, this is dumb. Like, they should give this game to a different writer and say, look, we can't change any of the art or anything except the voiceover and the text, but if you can make it work, um, and then it just becomes this masterpiece, because, like, okay, let's get rid of all the teenage girl stuff, and let's make it about, you know, I mean, that would be a fun challenge. If I ever taught design school, I would give that as a challenge to students. I would just be like, uh, I would just be like, all right. All you can change is this. This one thing. Change the dialogue and the text and make it better. And make it more commercial. I'd be interested to see what that was. Uh, okay, I'm not even close to the end. Oh my god, this is a terrible thing. Blah. Were you engaged a cab and that's why you finished it? Because you were genuinely like, hey, this is awesome. Um, I just got a warning about this game. It's like, be careful. Slow. Oh my god, where am I going? I've never played a game this bad. That's not true. Oh, I I think it's not wonderful, but I think it's excellent that they are making games about that subject. But um I just think this is very on the nose. In Japanese culture, there has been a sense of beauty and sacrifice, and I assure you this blockade is perfectly regal. Harry Kiri being a prime example. Now the idea. Uh, what's that about taking your own life? You symbolically purge. God, I don't care. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You want food? Do what I say. <laughs> Rob, your 13-year-old girl, yeah. Oh my god, something, just make something happen, game developer. Just do something to make something occur. Yeah, of course, everybody goes through a lot of these things, and depression's a real thing, it's not something to be mocked. I'm certainly not mocking that. And I'm very appreciative that it's brought to light in as many ways as we can bring it to light. But that doesn't mean that I can't shit on a game that's terribly boring. Unless they're basically saying, no, no, it's a metaphor for depression. And when you play it, you'll be depressed. And that's what we wanted to, to you know. Um, belief in the witch. Those who believe in the witch of kitten stat share many practices with modern Wiccans. <laughs> Such as praying for a bountiful harvest and a goddess worship. Hmm. I tell you what, though. What sets this practice apart is a slight bend of both Western and Eastern customs. You see... As to what led to the mixing of these customs. Well, that's fascinating. It's the most creative theory I've heard. Get this. During the joint efforts of Japanese and German entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth and prosperity, well, 
Naturally, there would be an exchange of cultural beliefs, giving rise to the belief in witches. And from there, no, oh, no one at Kenstad ever recovered. I'm trying to finish it a cab, but I mean, I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to do in this game at this point. Just walk around and read some more bullshit. Why was this game created? I don't give a fuck about free codes. You know, there are people out there that will trade their fucking integrity for a fucking free code. Idiots. Silent Hill with me. Welcome to the trash room. Thank you. Welcome to this room, whatever it's called. Thank you. And here's a room 206 where you'll get your kicks when the door is open and you cross the river sticks. Everyone join in and sing along for this will be the final song for your spirit is close to crossing the river and Charon the ferryman must deliver your soul, your spirit, your very essence I think it's time for your convalescence because if you resist and if you try to escape oh goodness, oh, oh my you my friend will not just die but we'll all forget you in the blink of an eye. Okay, well, yeah, Ravnos, of course. That's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Uh, oh. Kevin Spacey, written in the Colgate logo font. Myth Norris, are you in there, Myth Norris? What is this? Is this a video game version of Community? Where's Britta? Where's Annie? Pierce, where are you all? What's happened? Where have you gone? Even the Dean isn't here, but I know this is Greendale. It must be. What smells like Greendale, yes? Don't tell me Shirley's dead. Shirley, are you dead too? Oh my, all the cast members are here. Dumb! Cow Cow? What's up, baby? So 
witch. Why don't you go to the prom with me? Would you go to prom with me? Would you go to the prom with me? Here you go. This is how you have to do it. You just got to ask everybody. Someone's going to say yes. Will you go to the prom with me? You go to the prom with me. You, go, you will. All right. uh, I must get in these doors. Eddie T, you didn't finish it though, right? Perhaps the periodic table of elements will show us a way. No, I can't go back. Fuck you, bitch. Fucking idiot. Fucking cut, you piece of shit. Oh, look, Jerry's from Pac Man. Uh, oh, here's a lot. Ew. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Get out, you freak! Slut! Your art's fucking You're weird! You're a freak! Cocky piece of shit! into the negativity, it won't hurt me. Crazy! First, let's go back. <laughs> what are the words you pay me to call you, Rob? Come on, let's be honest. Okay. This is just like Metal Gear Snake Year, where you're going through the dead soldiers, but instead... Shut your whore mouth! Ugly! Get out, you freak! I like being in here. I like when you call me these things. More. More, please. Seems like dumb is the main one. Here. Is this like a Mavis Bacon Peaches typing game? Am I supposed to? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to get into the whole suicide thing on this chat, guys, but when I've had therapists tell me before when I've gone to them about people who I was worried about, they said, end of the day, uh, right, Morgan, right, there's, all you can do is be there for the people and, uh, but you can't stop someone. I mean, you, ju you just can't. It, it feels like you want to, but, and that makes sense. You can't, you just gotta be there for them and hope they come to a point where they want to, well, they always wanna get better. Nobody wants to be depressed, but they find what they need as soon as they can. Oh, shit, what are you doing? Hey, there? Oh, I wanna go in the door, you fucking weirdo. Let's play a little bit of a second. Ooh, look at the eyeballs. Running for my life. When I first met you, I was running for my life. And now I don't know what to do. Look at all the eyeballs. Eyeballs. And you can fuck the eyeballs in your skin. Me. Your 
all chasing yourself, darling. These are my dreams. Yes. You're only subconscious. <laughs> They're not flowers. They're like cherry blossoms. This is so bad. It is so bad. It is made by people who don't play horror games. Or if it is, they just, they just... Like, why would this be scary? Why would you play this? Why would you be an executive at Konami and read this and go, you know what? This is the shit, boys. I found it. I found the key to rescue our... Sorry, but I have no idea where I'm going. Why are you chasing me? Because you're catchable. Not again. Not again. I think the game crashed. Maybe not. What did I do to deserve this? She's talking to like replica on a chat AI or something. What the fuck am I supposed to find? Your soul, bitch. Until you do, nothing will be better. Nothing. This guy looks familiar. They're hurt. Where are you going? Yeah, that's right. Amelie. Oh my god. What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Come closer then. Wait a sec. You two are from my class. The band? Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Feel free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> oh, 
Maya only ever cared about Amelie. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. You've been dead for 50 years, girl. She was only invisible because she, like everyone else, cannot see ghosts. <laughs> I, I, it was told to me that those were not character models. Those are, uh, that's F and P. I thought it was CG at first as well. The library. So I'm back at school. No, you have a library in your home, you idiot. I wonder if she would turn no and she would be dead. Skull face, bloody face, skin removed. Cry baby, fuck, fuck oh, you. Oh, crazy. sorry. I was just thinking about something. Yes, I know you were. The Dewey Decimal System. Why would you think of anything else? I borrowed that book you wanted. I finished it, so it's all yours. All right, good. I'm glad you read it. What did you think? Where are you going? It's a book club time. I wrote my impressions in a letter. Yes, no one asked you to do that. Read it when you get home, okay? Okay. Okay, I will. Guess who loves this game? Jesus. What about a game like Hollywood Squares, except for kids? Gary Coleman could host. Where was it? That book. Yeah, first you need to check the card catalog. That will allow you, let's see, six, seven, seven, four. Oh, here it is, right here. Habits are everything. Well, it's an odd book. It seems glued to the shelf. Well, let's try another one, shall we? The next book I find will go out to Morgan Renfield. This is what she really needs in her life. A book called Six Ways to Make Your Life Better, Morgan. Wonderful. Who else wants a book? Rob the Mod, this one's for you. Let's find out. Uh, Rob gets German. It's just called German, as we don't really know anything else about it. But, you know, he'll probably enjoy that. Who wants a book? Let's give one to K-Nubs, shall we? K-Nubs, I'm giving you this yellow book called uh, Word to Butch. Word to Butch. I don't know what that is. Last book of the day we're giving away... This book goes out to uh, for Shizzle. For Shizzle, you are getting the book called Cherry Blossoms. Excellent. You enjoy your reading this week in class. I will see you later. I will see you later. What am I doing in this game? You know the game is not good when you have to create your own fun. It's even worse when it's only fun for you and no one who's watching. It doesn't matter though. Look at the titles of the books. All the books. Yes, I have. That's the that's the puzzle. I need to understand what the philosophy is about these books. And then when I do, I will be able to solve the puzzle. You see, Mom and Dad, video games aren't like they were when you were kids. They're an art form now. They basically make more money than movies. for a hundred years because that's the last time she checked the book out. Ketan stalked the town cursed by a witch. Malicious magic? To blame? For the city slump? Mm, possibly. Ketan said continues to see a rapid decline in his population. The birth rate is at a mere 0. 0.7. Less than half of the German nation average of 1.6 miscarriages are also at 31%. It's more than double the average at 15%. The economy is in shambles. And the once booming industrial city has failed to revitalize itself twice. A number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch that is the cause of economic downturn in Kettenstadt. The witch was a Japanese woman 
who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town in the 1930s, as witches tend to do. Brooms, Halloween, and officially influencing economic situations of small towns, researchers believe she was hunted down and killed. Before her death, she's believed to have placed a curse on the town, stymieing its growth. Those witches. So, it is a curse. Witches. But Those bitches. Why me? Get stitches. Why do I have to be cursed like this? Because you're a witch, darling. Fine. <laughs> she's like, find you. She's calling DoorDash. It's like, dude, find my address. I'm fucking starving. Find Fine. what in a place like this? Uh, a book. What do you mean, find what? Gee, what could the witch want? Idiot. Hey, I got a phone call. One second, fellas. For what? It's totally the story of me and DoorDash. We can't find you. How can you not find me? It's not a metaphor for your soul or your life's purpose. It's simply an address where I want you to drop off the Taco Bell. Now, I know sometimes you think your life is more exciting than it really is, and that you're the main character of the story, but the truth is, I want my fucking Taco Bell. In the 1930s, Germany, the town of Kittenstadt, attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Now, behind that success was supposedly a Japanese woman. Now, she used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East and would be greatly respected by the German people. However, in 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout the industrial parks, losing the majority of their factories, while the witch of Far East, who was hospitalized in the fire, jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself right then and there. The witch had been diagnosed with an unknown illness. Perhaps it was the illness of being a witch. And many believe the fires pushed her over the edge. Let's do that again. And many believe the fires pushed her over the edge. Now, some citizens, however, claim that a witch hunt was to blame. They argued the witch's rise to prominence angered the mayor's party, who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for murder. There's no evidence to support this claim, and many now view it as mere conspiracy theory, but the mayor's party did damage Dan... Yeah, <clears throat> come on now. The mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death, and since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. Fools. A witch's curse? Yes. Is that why I saw what I did before? Maybe, you see. You see, in the 1930s, the town was undergoing a boom of economic success. This is a game literally about finding things to read. Someone in the world thought their story was good enough that it could support a game where all you do is wander around and find things to read. Imagine the hubris, imagine the arrogance, especially when now we've been reading for quite some time and nothing. Gained my loyalty or imagination. Oh my god, what the fuck is this dumb thing? A shadow drop. I'm a piece of shit drop. Yeah, boys, I got him. Where's the milk? Where's the magical Necronomicon? That is blue. Find I it. think I know these. Yes. <sighs> no, not the blue locker. Not the blue 
Naka. How does that mean? No. No way. I think it's charming. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at your innocence, at your naivete, because the truth of the matter is the witch has been here since the 1930s. So we're, closely, we're going on a, a century of the witch's evil. And what, you think you can come here with your library card and stop the curse just because you understand the Dewey Decimal System? Just because you like the it's card like catalog? School. It's not going to happen, sir. Look at the girl. She's come Why to terms. She's happen? younger than you are. She's a child, and she's come to terms with the fact that the library is not what she was brought up to believe. It is not a place of wonder. It is a place of evil. I've never seen Maya like that before. That's because she's a fool, and you're only now starting to realize that Maya, for all her qualities, for all her beauty even, is out of a goddamn mind. Are you all right, Anita? You left me red on red. I was so worried. Oh, sorry, I was just thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know this, but she's bullied. Oh my god. I know. I bullied her. She said it's the cray. I said it's the Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Maybe she done some in the frown. That's not true. You dummy, it's not true. She loved you. She wanted to do things with you to your bodice. Oh my god, I don't understand. Somehow I've come back and I will face the Jedi. Goodbye, Morgan Renfield. It is good to see you again. We will see you in the future. Let us Maya's examine. locker. Hey, it's Maya's locker. Oh, it's the not here. Dead girl. It wasn't here before either. No, this locker is nothing but a box of disappointment. Every time I open it, I expect to find something that will help me in my quest for peace and sanity. And yet there's nothing, just tennis shoes and headphones and pictures of girls trying to act cute and surprised when in truth they're both insecure. Wondering, when will I be loved? And of course, a potpourri of razor blades and lies. Let us continue to search for the mystery locker that we need. Look, cherries again. Tis but a metaphor. And pizza. Now I'm hungry. What have you done to me, game? Can I go in here? No. No. Oh, well, look what we have here. Amelie's locker. It is Amelie's locker, her place of love and desire. Yes. I found it's the just book. A novel. Wait a second. Wait a sec. Uh. Wait. Wait. Did I take the book? I guess not. I guess not. I got out the cover. Where's my locker, man? I bet you it's over here on this here wall. Uh, I bet it's over here somewhere. Right the eyeball. And that's the game mechanic. Think about it metaphorically. We're literally, abstractly, I mean, we're literally walking, waiting for an icon to appear on the screen. That is the gameplay. Nothing wrong with that in the right context. But in this case, in this case, it's pure goddamn evil, really. Fools. There must be the locker. Where are you, you foolish blue thing? Where have you gone? Where are you hiding? Why have you forsaken me? It is a locker with a butterfly. My locker. Why is it locked? Because it's a there locker. something I don't want to see? No, 
I don't care. It won't open. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now I have to fucking look for the code, which is just somewhere here. Uh, what? Oh, wow. Three, zero, two, and what is the last number? Three, zero, two, and no, I don't want you to tell me. Why would I want you to tell me? Come now, a cab. Let's not be foolish. Let's not be a child. I bet you it's on the ground. That's the last place they think to look. On the skateboard, even. No. No. Knock, knock. Who is it? Your destiny. Your destiny. <laughs> look. One. Now, how do I know which is first? Unless they're color-coded on the locker. Of course, of course they're color-coded. No, they're not. All right. One, zero. Zero, one. Zero, one. Zero, three. One, two. This is what I think. I know what's inside, and I can't look away. No, look at me, darling. Here it is. What's my this letter? Was it inside the book? Oh my god! Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? Yes. To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment, simply by letting go of life. Yes, I do. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. Yes. I wish I could live like that. I wish you could too, darling, but the truth of the matter is there's no I way. want to experience true beauty. I want to experience this only crack for a moment. I met someone oh. who made me feel different. Was it Amelie? Mm -hmm. He showed me on. a whole new that world. Fruzy! Gave me hope. That big. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. It made me a lightheaded. I felt it with all my heart. I hope Colin doesn't want his microphone back. He's covered with spit. Didn't and understand us. <laughs> didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People... People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. Mm -hmm. They fear mm -hmm. anyone different. Preach it, girlfriend. Hate them. Try to tear them down. This is like I Dear Evan Hansen. I wish you and I had. Wait a minute. I wish you and I could run away together. Amelie. I don't even understand that because I thought she said she met a guy. Just Amelie's not a guy. <laughs> you know, did you just make a Dr. Susie and Ryan? <laughs> That's too depressing, K Nubs. K Nubs says, Imagine though, people actually worked help. on this and thought it was beautiful. That's really, I, I you know. Just... I mean, that's art, man. You take chances. At least they took a chance and took a swing. You know, we've all, we've, if you've put yourself out there more than once, even once, you've been there. So I'm, I'm only fucking everything. around and playing with them. You're way more talented than me. I mean, I, I respect so anybody who why? puts it out there. But that said, though. Why take Amelie from me, who acted like I wasn't even there? Amelie is my friend. She's mine. Uh, I only 
wanted to take her Wait down. Wait a minute. She, she you was mean taking all of you're away the from bully? Me. She wouldn't pay this attention to me. This whole time? You're the bully? Who <laughs> was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? You're the monster. <laughs> you're the toilet paper lady. Well, the shoe's on the other foot now, isn't it, darling? Well, worry not, you'll have plenty of time to change shoes in prison. <laughs> no one ever gets away. Uh, excuse me. No one ever gets away from the toilet paper lady. Do they get shoes? And I don't fucking know. They get video games, which surprised me. Oh, here we are, back to the chasing place. Everyone, look at all the people on the wall. Look at the eyes. They're watching. They're creepy. They're always being watched. It's a metaphor for something. Oh. No, the bully didn't kill herself. She got bullied by this girl, the protagonist. It's like we're being bullied by the game developer. Okay, come on now. What a twist. This is some Shamalama Ding Dong. Good night, Shamalama Ding Dong. Come on now, get in the blue door. Come on now, where you were before. Here comes Toilet Paper Lady. She's gonna kill you fast. She don't love you anymore. She's gonna take you and slam your head in the goddamn door. She's right behind you. Here she is. Here comes oh. fucking Dong. Oh, I see. She's a cherry blossom lady. Okay, so she's the bad guy. Oh, I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Perhaps you needed stronger parental figures in your life, darling. Realize what you were doing was hurtful, harmful, even murder. Never go into the first door. Never. Never go into the first door. Everyone knows that. Just go where she isn't? I don't think the phone gives you any hints at all. I could be wrong. Where the bad guy is. I mean, I guess there's actually a direction I can go. I mean, even if it's stupid now. The only main condition is to memorize the fucking maze? Come on, go fuck yourself. Why do that to me one more time? Remember that song? No, because you're old, Jaffe. Forget Nobody was alive me, watching the stream that remembers that fucking song. Maybe three people. Idiot. Idiot. Hello, you know me? Run, girl. Run for your life. Nothing will change. Nothing will improve. Everything ends. Everything dies. Everything rots. But that said, though, your experience that you have well, your experience that you have, you see, that will be what is behind this door. Ah, run, Luke, run for your life. No, there's someone in that door. I won't go there. You can't make me. I am the murderer. I am the bully. Not Maya, not Amelie, no. I am the one who ended her life with my own irresponsibility. And in that, I pay the price. 
the ultimate price. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where am I supposed to go with this game? What's happening in this game? Everyone's chasing me. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. With. Everyone's coming after the girl, bully the girl, make the girl kill herself. No one takes responsibility. That's why Donald Trump Jr. needs to be the president of the United States once again. It's time to take responsibility for our actions. Now, of course, this girl bullying other people is not the way to do things, but you know what? You know what? That's it. She didn't push her off the roof. Okay. And I did that itself. And in that, we've come to the end of the puzzle, my friends. We have come to the door that we're all waiting for. 209. 209 is where the madness awaits us all. When you die, you don't see a golden beam of light, no tunnel. Just a door marked 209. And on that door, you will find... As you hang upon the rind of the fruit of your very soul, the death will come and take you fast. It will ask you with a gasp, are you ready finally at last to see the very truth? The door that's blue has finally come for you, the door. I can't blame you for going in a fucking circle. I don't know what I'm doing. What, how would I know what I'm doing? What is the lady? Jesus Christ, stay the fuck away from me. What do I think so far, Spaz? I think it's terrible. I think it's really dumb. Terribly done. I think the message is good. I think their heart's in the right place. Uh, I think it's terribly dull and uh, tropey and... Uh, you just I not good. I can't do it. It's not this terrible, forever. but if this is the future of Silent Hill, well, the future, my friend, is in jeopardy. You see? You see? Where are you going, dear lady? Dear lady, where do you think you're going right now? I don't know. Yeah, Stella Joe thinks there's a lot of promise here. I think, I mean, there's no promise. This is the game. Like, this is not a demo. This is the game. Where? Okay, I have to stop. I have to think from that. There's got to be an obvious way out of this. Okay, that says... 210. I know there's a monster behind this door, just like there's a monster at the end of this book that's over. Okay, so never go down that door. So now let's see what can I learn. What can I learn? I'm just a girl in school. This is what it's like to be a Gen Z girl in school. Everybody can live to be a girl in school. I'm a Gen Z girl. And I know all about the world. I'm gonna go in this tunnel. And I'm gonna get this time. She wearing clubs? That's just too nice. Everybody's running down the road in every okay, I can't go down there. I know I'm running in a circle, but I've already done all the places. No, that's not true.
How am I doing the same as dumb? Super chat, thank you for the idea, Pump Schroeder. I appreciate it, bud. Very clever, Pump Schroeder. I don't care what they say about you. You're no fool. You're no idiot. You don't deserve what they gave you in prison. You're a goddamn man. You're a human with a brain and a heart and a tissue. And I do appreciate it. I tip my cap to you, sir, as we enter room 212. Very clever. Did not think to do that. Would not think to do that. Life goes on. The lockers are here. The metaphor of the life is cool. And suddenly, as we get to the end, we hear the beginnings of a familiar refrain. The family here is not a few of those things. Donna! Kelly? Okay. Yeah, I should add the wizard emote. I think it's a good idea. Thank you. Uh, seriously, Puckish Rogue, I, I didn't even think of that. No shit, Jaffy, you didn't think of it? I didn't. It's a really good idea. Thanks, bud. I like that puzzle. I like puzzles like that. They don't need keys. They don't present themselves as puzzles. They just kind of... Very important. Okay, so now... Why don't you open the door, you idiot? Let's just go back into that room. And this time, uh, this time things will be different. You always say that, Lewis, but they're never different. You always go back to the bottle and drink. I know, Helen, but this time it's going to be different. And you say, I'm a changed man. How? How can I believe that? But Jesus, who? The man who fixes the car? No, no, you fool. Jesus, you know, from the Bible. Bible? What is that? It's a book, man. Yes, yes, it gives us all sorts of instructions and ways to live our lives in a way that, well, will lead us to salvation. Let's see, let's see. Come along, come along now. Come along now. Let us run from oh the dead. Oh God, shut up, RPG. I know what you're doing. Come on now. Don't put yourself in a corner. I wasn't trying to. I just didn't know it was a corner until it was a little bit too late. You fool. You fool. You are here with nothing to show for it because you're dying. Please tell me I'm close to the end of the game. I can't take much more of this fucking thing. Yeah, I'm running. I'm running so fast. I have to get away. I'm just a fucking baby. Everybody is so cool. I'm a fucking baby. Why are you a baby? I'm not a baby. You're so mean. Yeah, not me. I'm just honest. <laughs> Epstein Island, that's right. There's a horror game in that. Somebody should do that, man. Right? That's where they should set the next Far Cry. And that rear view is nice. I'm telling you, mind fucking guys. I dig that shit, man. That's a good idea for that one. Having to do this through memorization, which is stupid. I mean, 
That's a dumb mechanic. You have to memorize it, eh? Here we go, through the door. One more time, for old time's sake. I was trying to... Okay, so here it is. I don't know what it is. They open the door. I keep thinking I have to get close enough to open that with the, the boogeyman doors. But I don't. They will open it for you. Then you'll have time to run away. Okay. I'm running in high heels and I still make this look good. I'm sorry? What are you talking about? I said I'm running in high heels. Okay. Here I go. Running down the road. Well, life on the farm is kind of laid back. Come on now. Why are you running to me? Do you think you can escape from me? Yes, it's my money. I'm so sorry to tell you, but this will not be an air for you. How do you know, Alex? Can you see a few, Josh? Perhaps I can. Or perhaps. the metaphor, but I need a literal solution to this problem. Much your spiritual guidance that got us into this problem in the first place. Ryan. Ryan 2012. Every day is a metaphor for a year. And how good or bad that year was is dependent on a number of factors. The AI will determine if you had a good or bad year and that you will be able to determine. This is not your father's video game. Because the fuel system can't run that anymore. It's a very old game. Still, this is a video game. Here they come behind me. Coming back behind me. Well, now. Here come the lockers. We're approaching a set of blue lockers. I see them. What next? Turn left. Turn left quickly. Now wait. This is like a horror version of uh, drip, uh, 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 that racing style. Can we do that racing style? Okay, I guess I have to turn around and not walk backwards. Think about the developer who made this and think about this. You can't tell me they didn't focus test this fucking game and watch people have this problem and then go, we got it, guys. And you're on to something. No, you're not. It's bullshit. That's bullshit. I would quit RPG, but I think I'm near the end and I'm like, fuck it. I haven't finished the game this year yet, so may as well do this one. But you know what I'll say about this? This is the kind of stuff I like in the sense that, um, you know, if, if a lot of games were short like this, it, this would just be like, oh yeah, I saw that. Did you, did you play that uh, Silent Hill? Oh yeah, I played it this week and it was all right. You know, but you played it, you finished it, it's in your memory bank, it was a decent enough time. Um, like the movie Thanksgiving or something, but every video game has got to be a fucking magnum opus these days. Nothing can just kind of be fast food. It's annoying. I don't like that. Oh, you don't like that? Well, you know what? I don't like losing money on going to death. Yes, I was the investor of going to death, you see? I still haven't paid back my mother-in-law for all the money I borrowed from the cockamamie vision. Cockamamie, you said you believed in it. Oh, my God! Spazbo, if you're still watching, am I, am I close to the end of this game? Because if not, I have to stop playing it. There's no way I can keep doing this. Unless I'm like inches away from finishing. Uh, 
I didn't know it was a dead end. I'm, I'm not memorizing this. I'm bored out of my fucking mind doing this. After the blue lockers, make the round and try left. I wish there wasn't a door. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Okay, this is my last. If I don't make it here, I gotta. I got. I got shit to do. I gotta. I gotta wrap it up. Uh, I'm not close to the end, Rob. Oh God, fuck this game up. It's dummy fucking eye socket. <laughs> fellas i'm out i got shit to do uh but listen seriously you guys thanks for hanging out uh spending some time i'll probably finish it up tonight uh off stream because I'm, I'm close i don't even know if there's a if there's a save option but if there isn't ain't no way i'm fucking gonna finish this fucking thing up um but for now my friends that's it that's it i'm gonna go hang with the family get some dinner and uh, don't forget, if you're interested, there's a gamer, uh, Good Morning Gamers, tomorrow morning around 1030. Hopefully, I'll see you live. Uh, meantime, be well, be safe, and thanks for hanging out, and thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, consider a membership, considering a Patreon membership. Um, you know, that's the world, baby. Be well, be safe. Bye, everybody. Uh,